All right, I wanna show you how to dry a Westie, even though we're not gonna dry her, I'm gonna show you the method behind this. First of all, I always put a little bit of spray. This happens to be the Best Shot Ultra Max hair Hairspray. This is really good stuff and it's pet safe, which some of the stuff that we may be using, including me, is not listed for pets. And some of you are more particular about that than me, and I should probably be a little more particular about that. But this is a really good product. And because it is a non-aerosol, you can put it where you want it. And then I'm gonna work it into her head just to get some body, because her head dried funky. Um, she got really, really flat hair. So when you're doing a Westy head, you want to essentially put some spray or some mousse into it and then work it every different direction. And when you're drying it, you want to make sure that you are working in an upward motion and not in a downward motion. If you are going down, it's going to lay flat. If you are doing this, like we were doing with the poodle's ears and body, you will get a head that will stand up and that you can actually get a much, I'm not hurting you, a much better spray. Now, if you're using an aerosol or if you're working really close to their eyes, cover their eyes before you spray it. This is giving me an absolute spot so I know exactly where it's going to go. But that's the head. Now on the bodies, you're going to go down when you're drying. If you're force drying, use your nozzle to force the hair to lay down. And you do that by using a flat nozzle. And, oh, we are recording. It didn't look like we were recording. And then you push down this way. So you're gonna sweep the water off the way that you want the hair to lay. And if you're using a sand dryer, you're obviously gonna brush the backs to make them lay down. Skirts you want to lay down, or furnishings, under furnishings, as I like to call them. Chest and skirt, you want them to lay down, so you're gonna brush them down. Legs, you have to have them standing up just a smidge in order to scissor. So, you will brush up while you're drying, or blow up. You can blow these legs up with a force dryer, or you can use the brush like this with the stand dryer and brush them up. I like to put a little bit of texturizer or hairspray into their legs. She is a little devil. She's a rescue, believe it or not. She came from our Humane Society. Her mom had dementia and her dad just couldn't do it anymore. And he gave, um, he, he gave two people 30 minutes to get there before he left. He left at 31 minutes because neither one was there yet. Took her straight to the Humane Society. One of my good clients who had just lost her poodle picked this puppy up and said, if I don't want her, what am I gonna do with her? I said, you're gonna fall in love with her, trust me. And she did. She's a little brat about the haircut, but other than that, she's pretty good. But again, I like to put a little bit of body. I'm not saying these legs are gonna stand up. I just want enough texture where I can scissor them better. And it looks like I may have done a lousy job on her last time. Do the same thing with the tail. I puff it up like this, like a Christmas tree. You want it to come out like a Christmas tree or a carrot. So you're gonna want it fluffy. It's the only way you're gonna get a, a good carrot tail on her is for it to be fluffy. Now I've done her on video a dozen times, so I'm not going to do her on video today. Plus my phone is busy uploading another video and the other phone is full. Oops. But I am gonna get some photos to show you, again, the direction and the technique that we're using. Now I wanna show you one thing before I, before I get off of here though. I have sprayed two legs and this is what they look like. They're standing up. That's gonna be a lot easier to scissor. Her tail just got the residual hairspray that was in my brush. No reason to really spray the tail up. But let me show you what the other side of her that I haven't touched looks like. It's laying down. Now, if it's laying down, it's a lot harder to scissor than if it's laying up or standing up like this. So do you see the difference? We have a flat one and we have a puffy one. And the puffy one's a lot easier to scissor into a column because the hair is standing up and not laying down. If the hair is laying down and you scissor it, you're gonna get all different layers. If it's standing up, you're gonna actually get it right, okay?
there you go. That's how you do a Westie.